<laughs> hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back with me, Nathan. Gemini CLI just got a bunch of massive updates that make it smarter and more useful. So in this video, I'm going to cover the updates and show you how to get started. So about a month ago, Google released a powerful tool for developers called Gemini CLI. This impressive AI agent runs directly within your terminal and gives you free access to the Gemini 2.5 Pro model which has a massive 1 million token context window. You also get 60 free requests per minute and 1,000 free requests per day, which is quite generous for sure. Since then, both Google team and the open source community introduced massive updates to the Gemini CLI that adds a range of powerful new features to the tool. Over the past month, there are so many new contributors working on improving Gemini CLI even further. We have so many fixes, so many additions of new features, thanks to the open source community. First, Gemini CLI now supports custom slash commands. The custom slash commands basically lets you define templates and instructions in .toml files stored in a commands directory. This makes it a lot easier to keep your workflow organized and repeatable, especially if you work on bigger projects or want to automate common tasks. The feature is quite flexible as you can now personalize workflows with your own slash commands, including argument handling and shell execution. For example, you can introduce a plan mode where you can give Gemini CLI a feature request and it will analyze your code base to generate a step-by-step -step implementation plan. While in plan mode, it won't change or write into your code base. And then you can also add implementation mode to take the plan and execute it step-by-step, -step, ensuring the tool will not go beyond the written plan. Alright, let's take a look at a live example of this feature next. Now before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year as it will mean a lot to me making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. So to get the latest Gemini CLI features, you need to update the tool first by running the npm install command again. Make sure that you include the add latest tag as shown here and then press enter. After the update is installed, just run the Gemini command and you can start using the latest features. So here, I already have the plan command as well as the implementation command. These two commands have been added to the project folder, so let's open it in VS Code to take a look. And here it is, we can see the .gemini folder and then the commands folder inside it, storing the plan and implementation.toml files. Next, we will test these custom commands, so back in Gemini CLI, I will run the plan mode first, asking Gemini to build a landing page of a SaaS company focused on receiving international payment just like Stripe. Press enter and let Gemini work on the request, and then after a while, it will formulate a plan for this landing page. And here's the complete plan generated by Gemini CLI. It includes understanding the goal of the request, investigation and analysis, as well as other considerations. Next, I will run the implementation command to instruct Gemini to run the plan. And now we can see Gemini began scanning the project for files. And then it began to create the files and write the code in the project. It will take a while for this command to finish running, so I will fast forward the video a bit. And here Gemini has finished running, it created a Next.js application with all these components for a landing page. We can run it on localhost here. And then here's the landing page, which is for a SaaS offering international payment services. With these custom commands, you can create reusable prompts to streamline Gemini CLI's workflow, making the interactions faster and more efficient. There are many other custom commands provided by the community as well, such as the task command and review commands. I will leave the link to these commands down in the description in case you want to build your own commands. Next, we have a new update where Gemini CLI now has a deeper VS Code integration, which brings intelligent, context-aware suggestions right into your terminal, along with native in-editor diffing. This means you can actually review and apply changes to your code seamlessly without ever leaving your IDE. To get this feature running, just simply run Gemini CLI within VS Code, and then run the slash IDE install command. This will get the Gemini CLI extension for VS Code, Okay, so Gemini responded that it has successfully installed the extension for VS Code. Now let's quit the CLI tool first so that the extension can run. Start the command line tool again here and let's see if the extension is currently working. 
sometimes the extension doesn't work immediately after installation. As we can see here, the IDE is still disconnected. To fix that, let's just restart the CLI by closing the terminal and then open it again to start a new Gemini CLI session. Alright, now the extension is working. As we can see, there is one open file reported in Gemini CLI right here. Press Ctrl G to view more details. And here we can see the IDE status. It's connected to VS Code. So next, let's see the visual diff. I will simply ask Gemini to improve the header component of this app. Press enter and let it run for a moment. As usual, it will read the files in the project first before implementing some changes. And here we can see that the changes suggested by Gemini CLI triggers a full screen diff view in VS Code. You can then accept or reject the changes from VS Code and Gemini CLI will then continue to work on the request. And that's how the VS Code integration works. Gemini CLI now has context awareness pulled from VS Code, meaning that it can see the open files and selected tags in the IDE. It enables the CLI to provide a targeted and contextually relevant suggestions, as the tool now understands precisely what you're working on at the moment. Next up, we have Gemini CLI GitHub Actions, which is currently in beta. This is your new free, powerful AI coding teammate for your GitHub repository. It acts both as an autonomous coding agent for critical routine tasks and an on-demand collaborator you can quickly delegate work to. Now, you can actually automate tasks, review code, and ship faster directly within GitHub. The tool has lots of cool benefits, such as an intelligent issue triage that automate the overhead of managing new issues issues, as well as speed up pull request reviews by letting Gemini CLI review requests for quality, style, and correctness, allowing you to focus on more complex tasks. You also have on-demand collaboration to help you brainstorm, work on different fixes, or just simply delegate work to. Let's learn how to add GitHub Actions next. First, you need to have your code available on GitHub, so please create a new repository and push your code base there if you haven't already. Here I have the code for the landing page that I just created before available on this repo. Note that you also need to add Gemini API key to the repo, so just go to this secrets configuration and add a new secret here. To get the API key, you can visit aistudio.google.com and then click get API key and then create API key here. Once the API key is added, go back to Gemini CLI interface and let's run the setup GitHub command. This command will fetch GitHub workflows and add them to the repository. So if you open the project in VS Code, you should see this .github folder. It contains the workflows that Gemini can run. So next, you need to push this GitHub configurations to the repo. Just commit the changes and then push it to the repo. And back in GitHub, here we can see the .github folder added to the repo. That means now I can easily delegate tasks to Gemini CLI for this repository. Let's try it out. So here I have created a new pull request for the pricing card component. And there is a signal here saying that Gemini CLI process is currently running. So we can click on that to see the details. And we can see the Gemini CLI running over here. Now, there is nothing to see because all of this runs on the background, so I will skip a bit to when Gemini notify me of the result. Okay, so the review check was cancelled here. I'm not sure why. Maybe Gemini gets stuck somewhere down there. We'll need to check the details to find out. But yeah, with Gemini CLI GitHub Actions, you can let Gemini handle your pull requests, provide code changes, and resolve issues directly from your GitHub repository. And now we have smaller but still powerful features that are being added to Gemini week over week. The maintainer is actively merging different pull requests that have been contributed by the community and adding it to the official repo. A few notable ones are added clipboard image paste support for Mac OS, introduced system-wide settings config for administrators, as well as interactive prompt flag, enabled summarization of tool outputs with specific summarizers, fixed infinite loop on Windows, and sanitized tool parameters to prevent 400 API errors. It also has implemented automatic loop detection to improve stability as sometimes the tool can get stuck when doing tasks. You also have enhanced OAuth callback for more robust Docker support. I think this is for Docker MCP toolkit and then check for model availability in the background to improve startup speed. They have also upgraded dependencies into Ink 6 and React 19, added markdown table rendering, added privacy command to improve privacy control, as well as VS Codium and NeoVim IDE integration. There are many others, so you might want to check out the changelog on the official GitHub repo. 
If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. And that's the Gemini CLI update in a nutshell. These updates really improved the capabilities of Gemini CLI, making it smarter and more useful. If you want to try the features out, don't forget to update Gemini CLI to the latest version first. Again, you just need to run the npm install command again, but make sure that you add the add latest tag to the command. I will also leave the links to the helpful guides in the description below, so be sure to check them out. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Coordinator is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.